Cerebral satire contains strong language and thoughts that may offend. If you are easily offended, don't fucking bother listening to it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It's Friday, everybody. Therefore, it is Cerebral Satire Day. Welcome to Cerebral Satire. Hello, Wayne. How are you? I'm all right. You good? Good. I'm just in that bit where you're expecting an ass kicking and you're just, you know, waiting for Uh, that person to come home before it happens. Oh, is that what's going on? You're waiting for Claire to come home? Well, Sammy Joe slash, what was his name before that? (laughs) Bobby? (laughs) I forgot his name. (laughs) Sammy Joe slash uh, whoever that was before that couldn't make it this week, so... It's just me and old Wayne doing our reg. I'm Wayne. sorry, everyone. Oh, don't, don't sound so uh, dapper, Wayne. Wayne, no, what's going not, on with you this week? Not a lot. Usual. Yeah. Um, the usual this is a podcast. situations yeah, of talk. life that I find myself in. And what's that? Claire blew a car up. <gasps> the car you share? No. <laughs> oh, she don't go near mine now. Oh. Trust me. oh, you got your own car now. Okay, good. But um, no, we only bought her like a little seven hundred pound job just to because literally she needs just to get to work and back, which mm-hmm. is about all of five ten minutes away. Yeah. So then, yeah, that give up the ghost. Oh it yeah. Keeps boiling the water away instantly. So she took it to the garage and um, they basically said, "Yeah, you need a new car." And then my brother used to be a mechanic, so he's <laughs> yeah. like, like made his mission to fix. Some <laughs> they repair. just said, "Yeah, you need a new car." They just said, yep. "Give up on this one. This one's done." Yeah, I've never heard a garage say that before. Yeah, well, Richard said they were very honest, but um, <laughs> Richard, he <laughs> said he'd do it up for free, so we're like, yeah, off you go. Uh, yeah, have, have at it, man. How's he going to do it for free? still got to get away from his kids, to yeah, be honest. Exactly. You still got to pay for your parts. How is he going to do it for free? Well, no, no he'll, he's got the parts for it for about 150 quid. But so. no, like labor. He's not going to charge you labor. No. That's nice of him. 150 quid, and, you know. If that's as cheaper than buying a new car, so. All right. So she's driving your car right now? Yeah, that's a bit worrying. Do you know what she Ooh. said? I don't like your car. And I said, why? Because the brakes work. <laughs> what do you mean, because the brakes work? What well, does that mean? One, you need to sort of push really hard and firm for about yeah. five seconds before anything happens. <laughs> and yours is newer, so all you do is like tap on them and they work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She can't, okay. she can't gotcha. get her head around that. Yeah, that's the way I am in rentals when I rent cars because I've been renting cars trying to figure out what kind of car I want to buy. Man, my car is not doing well at all, dude. Woo! My car is not doing well. Anyway, uh, yeah, when you first get in them, you, the brakes work so well, you're not used to them. So literally, you're stamping on the brake like you normally do because it's 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 muscle memory now, and you're like, Ugh! you're like jerking to the front of the. You feel like you're gonna come out of your <laughs> seat to the and through the windshield. You jerk, yeah. So I can understand. She'll get used to it after a while, you know. How long has she been driving your car for? Well, she's been getting lifts because obviously I still need it for work. Um, yeah. But today and hopefully he's getting the rich will be getting the parts tomorrow and that'll be done at the weekend. So. But wait, she didn't drop you off for work and then. No, because I, uh, I work further away than she does. Yeah, and but I she work could... all different times, don't I? Depending on oh, shift. Oh yeah, you're right. You're... I think yeah. there's only one shift where I could actually sort of take her in, drop her on the way, and that work out. What else is going on? Not a lot. I found this wine in the wardrobe. No, did you now? Yeah, what the fuck's that about? She don't even drink wine. And I was looking for something. What's that? I can't of wine? remember what it was. My joggy bottoms. Your joggy bottom. Yeah, because they're, they're nice jo- just to sit around. Your in. stretchy pants. Jog. The only pants yeah. that the only pants that fit you now. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't know why I looked in a wardrobe and I found this wine. If you don't even drink it, what type of wine is it? Fucking expensive wine. <laughs> is it really? Uh, I don't know if that's a D or a V. It's French fancy wine. Is it the stuff uh, that right. Aunt, is the stuff that Aunt brought over? Well, it's, it's got pap in it, so I don't know if it's Chateau Neuf. Is it Chateau Neuf de Pap? It's not Chateau Neuf de Pap, but yeah, it's he, uh, wouldn't be that, he wouldn't be that nice to bring you over Chateau Neuf and not drink it himself. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't no, I, I, I brought. Shout enough to Pat round his. I thought we could share it. No, he just had it. Remember that? Yeah. 
Yeah, he just took it home with him. Of course, <laughs> of course he did. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> but anyway, um, Durpak, uh, sous vide <laughs> reserve Anyway, it's expensive. And I said to Claire, why are you hiding wine in the wardrobe? Speak more French to me, please. I'm begging you to speak more French to the listeners. Set boutier, portelli. I don't know. It's got coordinate. Uh, coordinate. What's it, what does it taste like? I ain't had any. I'm now about to have it. Oh, have some. No, I'm doing this air and bollocks that everyone says you should do. Um, oh, you're do- you're airing it out? Yeah. Do you have a, do you have a decanter? I'll, I'll put it in a glass. <laughs> That's... The, the wine connoisseurs right now have all his slapped their heads against their slapped their hands against their head because they're like no putting it in a glass does not aerate it putting it in a decanter does what, is that, that that weird square glass Cur- thing yeah the big thing normally it has a really big bottom and a short top so you can pour it and you oh look like the urine urine testing thing yes 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 yeah and yeah and you swirl it around sometimes some in some reds you swirl it around and. I don't even think you... You don't aerate whites, I don't think. I ain't got white. This Dupat thing is <laughs> red. And I said to her, why have you got it? And she went, well, they were selling them off at Tesco cheap. No, it must and not I was be like, that good. I was like, all right. No, it was expensive down to normal. She went, I thought it'd be a nice present, so I've hid it so you don't drink it. Oh, you're going to be in so much trouble when she gets home. She don't like me drinking wine. She especially don't like me drinking wine before 3 p.m. Why? Why does she not like you drinking wine before 3 p.m.? What's the, what's the difference? I drink... When I walk because through our it's floor, longer I drink. for me to be drunk with her. If I get drunk at the end of the night and go straight to bed, it's less damage. I it's less you, less you, less she has to put up with you. And the less that she has to see me I gradually go from drunk to being hung over in the yeah. same day. Yeah. Well, uh... <clears throat> when this when this episode comes out, I'm going to be in the middle of nowhere in the <laughs> Gulf of Mexico. Sorry. Was just... Oh, does it not taste good? No, it's just, you know, when you breathe in red wine, you get that. Yeah, the little. Yeah, that, yeah the, that's uh... just what I huffed out. That was all. So for a bachelor party. So I've been to two bachelor parties. One bachelor party uh, I've been to is my brother's. We went to Baltimore. Everyone heard about that. Uh, if you if you haven't heard about it, go back and listen to it. It's one of the episodes before this one. I don't know which one. It is. Um, actually, it may not even that episode may not even be on this feed. And I'm thinking about it. <laughs> we really have to start uploading some of those old shows, dude. Anyway, <clears throat> um, um, I just lost lost my train of thought. Yes. Yeah, so this is the second bachelor party I've been to. This one we're going down to Tampa. We're gonna get on a boat. We're gonna go a mile off the coast of Tampa to a stilt house in the gulf of mexico and we're going to be there all week this stilt house has no running water it has no electricity how are you gonna have a piss and shower <laughs> well obviously you piss and shit in the ocean i guess uh, I, I don't i don't know to be honest with you i really don't know i'm, I'm being i'm being completely honest i don't know i have you this think you should look into this sort of thing before you go no I'm, I'm just looking for the experience i don't i don't really give a fuck it's not my bachelor party so i don't give a fuck it's, I don't really have anything to say. My brother and I got in this huge argument about his bachelor party. Huge argument about his bachelor party. And I, so from there on, I refused. Um, I was being the dick uh, because oh, that's surprise. Either. Yeah, surprise. <laughs> I know, surprise, surprise. I was being a dick. I didn't want him to have a bachelor party like uh, in a random city somewhere that, you know, it was, it was fucking bullshit random Baltimore city. And. He wanted it, and it's his, and I should have just shut my mouth and just enjoyed it. I ended up shutting my mouth and enjoyed it. I actually ended up apologizing because we got a huge argument about it. But I'm just going with the flow. But what happened to the bachelor parties that have strippers, Wayne? What happened to those good old bachelor parties that you hear about on movies and everything? Nice bachelor party you go to Vegas and, and you go to I fucking to strippers strip and pubs. stuff. What? What? Say that again. My bachelor party was shit, but even I went to two strip clubs. See, that's what I'm talking I don't know why. I'm going to ask him. I'm going to ask my buddy John as soon as I get down to uh, to Florida, as soon as I see him. We're supposed to have he's breakfast not religious, on Wednesday. Is he? No, he's not. He's not religious. He was one of my first non-religious friends. He was actually one of my first friends I've ever had. I've known him for, let's see, I'm 33, so I've known him for 31 years. I've he's not a secret s- feminist, is he? No. Uh, well, well then where, why aren't there strippers? I don't know. I don't know, Wayne. I'm, I, haven't, I haven't had a chance to ask him. He, he's busy doing stuff, interviewing for jobs and stuff, and I'm busy doing my thing. But I don't know. I don't know what happened to the strippers. I don't know what happened to the, to, to, the debauchery. We're going to drink a lot. We're probably going to smoke some weed while we're down there because we're off the coast, so it's legal. So 
I don't know. I don't know. But I have this vision that we're going to pull. Like, we're going to get in a boat, put all of our shit in a boat. We're going to pull up to this house. It's going to be on stilts. I have a feeling that like the bottom of it's going to be nothing but like a deck, like a decking, like like a like a like a boardwalk deck on the bottom. And then you're going to have to go up the stairs to get into the house. And it's for some reason I have this vision like it's blue. I don't know why I have a vision as blue. Or, I never, uh, I've, maybe I've never seen this house before. And then we're gonna fish and we're gonna cook fish and we're gonna talk and we're gonna drink and we're gonna smoke. It's a very good idea having a wooden house and it's, having a fire for it's, fish. It's been there for a while. Yeah, but people, you you ain't got electric, so you must be have a fire to cook the fish. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. The I think there's like a. Uh, I mean, there's water everywhere, Wayne. <laughs> All you gotta do is take a bucket, dunk it in there. Yeah, that'd and be like Titanic all over toss- again. That'd be like House <laughs> Titanic. But House t- I don't know, man. They were really a, a lot of a lot of his friends were really excited about this. A lot of his brothers, the best man. So his brother's friends were really excited about this. So I'm all down for it. I'm like, fuck it. I'm bringing a book with me. Uh, I'm not. I don't. Even, I think I'm gonna leave my laptop here. I'm not, normally, I bring my laptop everywhere I go. I'm not, I don't even think I'm gonna bring it. And I'm just gonna try to have as much fun as possible. Now I am gonna bring my blow up mattress that's queen size because I'm not oh, sleeping surprise. on the fucking ground. That's not happening. I'm not sleeping on the fucking ground. That's not happening. So I'm bringing that. But pretty much other than that, everything else is getting left behind. Um, but we got tons of booze coming. We got tons of. That's about it, I guess. We're just gonna drink ourselves into oblivion for four days. Booze and fish. I guess. I guess I bought a float so I could float. Float. Yeah, I, I bought a float in the shape of a pizza. Piece of pizza. Oh, so like a swimming toy thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like a six foot long swimming pizza, and I also bought a new uh, towel. That's a Batman towel. Got that. But um, so that's that's pretty much. I mean, pretty much what's going on. I don't really have. I mean, I don't really know what what else to say about that other than the fact that I don't know why we're not going to see some bitches take some clothes off. I don't. I don't understand that. Why well, don't um, you get one like swim to the house? Like in police gear and go, well, hello, I right hear one of you has been a naughty boy. Yeah. On Friday, evidently, we're getting like a cheap motel room and we're going to, everyone's going to go into town, going to go into shore, take a shower, and they're going to go back out to the house, evidently. But I don't see a reason why we can't just like soap ourselves up on the deck and then jump into the water and wash ourselves off in the water. Like, why can't that happen? I don't understand. Because it would be all salty and weird. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, it'd be salty, but I mean, it'd be fine to be salty, right? I mean, you're gonna be, you don't have any fresh water, so you're gonna be salty anyway. So it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> I mean, what the fuck does it matter, really? I'm just yeah. going. I'm just gonna go relax. To be honest with you, I'm just going to relax, man. I'm just going to relax. But I do have a question for a listener of ours, man. Oh, um, man. So on the Facebook page, Facebook.com/slash Cerebral Satire, uh, we had a couple listeners talk about an article we posted we posted an article about the secret world of tiny phones that go inside your butt it's from vice.com sort of a shortish article medium-sized article it's talking about phones that are so small that they go inside your butt article goes on for a while but i'm not here to talk about the article i'm here to talk to amy and i'm sorry anna and anna anna tagged a guy named adam and they could be a couple. They couldn't be a couple. I don't know if they're a couple or not, but I'm super glad they both listen. I'm super glad they both contributed to the Facebook page because that's awesome. But Anna, does does Adam stick tiny phones up his butt or does he stick tiny phones up your butt? Like, I want to know. I legitimately want to know. I reckon it's her that does it. Oh, he's, th- he's grossed out by it. So he's like, hey, look, this isn't so weird. <laughs> no, she tagged him in the post. Yeah, that's what you do, isn't it? When you... <laughs> When you get something that you're defensive about... So this is normal. This is you go, oi, look at this. Other people do do it, see? <laughs> see, I'm not so weird either. <laughs> so, Anna, if you can please email us at cerebralsatire.gmail.com. I really want to know why you tagged him. Does he? Does Adam stick tiny phones up his butt? Because if Adam sticks tiny phones up his butt, I need to set up a time where I can interview him and see what type of phone he sticks up his butt. Whether, Why don't we ring him while the phone's up the <laughs> yes. butt? Yes. What type of lube he uses to stick phones up his butt? Uh, I want to know a lot about Adam and about his exploits um, with uh, women in general, to be honest with you, because if he sticks phones up his butt, imagine what he has sticking, st- stuck up his butt. Can you imagine that, uh, Wayne? If he's sticking a phone up his butt. I said perhaps it's her. Oh, I hear from or her. Or her. Yeah, okay. Well, either way, I want to hear from either one of you. 
and find out exactly why you tagged um, him surely in the... it's, <laughs> Surely it's like unhealthy to put a phone up your butt. I mean, it's like it I can mutate I'm, cells and I'm stuff. I'm thinking it is very unhealthy to stick a phone up your butt. But um, a couple of different articles on that Facebook page, you guys. Check it out. It's awesome to interact with us. Uh, check it out. Uh, Wayne, did you... Uh, I want to... Now, I promised the listeners that um, Sammy Joe and I would ask you a big question that has been out on everybody's mind. Well, because, you know, you got the new... You got the new Captain America coming out soon. The, listen to that. Listen to that contentment already. Already. That, that not contentment, that, that, that fucking dismissal of this fucking American. Now, Wayne, do you know what the uh, Rotten Tomato score is on Captain America? Yeah, I did because you fucking tagged me on Facebook. <laughs> what is it, Wayne? What's uh, Captain America Civil War? What's, what's, the, uh, what's the rating on Rotten Tomatoes got right a now. Ten on Rotten Tomatoes. It got a hundred. It's, it's fucking perfect. It. It's fucking perfect. It's a perfect movie. It got a hundred. That? It's gonna be a perfect movie. Yes, I do believe it. So Wayne, you have to. I uh, owed it to the audience, to the listeners, for you to explain why you hate every Marvel movie that comes out except for Deadpool. Well, it's just I don't hate it. I just hate everyone's fucking gushing about it. Is that what it is? Is that really what it is? Like, you yeah. just hate the fact that everyone likes it? Yeah, well, I then, hate the fact that everyone obviously understands something I don't get. Is that what it is? Really? Yeah. I believe that's what it is. Like, there's so much... <laughs> there's so much resentment for Marvel movies out of you. I just know everyone picked up fucking um, Avengers and that, and I put it on, and it just... Ugh. Avengers was a good movie. It, it had its flaws, but it was a good movie. Oh, everyone was up its ass a mile. Well, I mean, Come when it came off. out, it was it was a one of a kind movie when it came out. No one had ever done anything like it when it. I admit, I chuckled at the trailer with the raccoon on with the other lot. Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, which you I haven't was, seen. I never yet. watched it. No, <sighs> that's such a good movie. It's so such that's a good not movie. dependent on watching the other one. You can watch it as a one off. Guard, right? yes, Guardians of the Galaxy is. I consider it the PG thirteen version of Deadpool. It's it's really that good. Guardians of the Galaxy is that good. I gotta admit, I did chuckle at the trailer for that one. It's a funny movie. It's got a lot There's of funny a tree parts. Man, in it. Isn't there? Batista is fantastic in that movie. He's so good in that movie. He blew me away in that movie. He's so good. Batista and Batista is um, Drax. Drax the Destroyer in that movie. Yes, there's a tree. Groot, who's uh, voiced by Vin Diesel. I am Groot. Great Vin Diesel. That's it. Don't I'm... get me started on Fast and the Furious. <laughs> Fast and Furious are good movies if you take them for what they're for what they are. Just dumb car movies. That's all they are. That's why I like them. Anyway, you were saying about Marvel. That's what I was just saying. I just don't get... It's everyone's gushing. It's not the films. You know, I'm never going to say a film is shit, no one should watch it, because, you know, that's something you'd say. But, um... <laughs> well, speaking of that, I did go see Batman vs. Superman. Yeah. What yeah. do you think? Um, Lex meh. was... Le yeah, yeah pretty much. It was me. Um, it was way too long. Fucking forever long. They didn't need... The last bad guy that was in the movie at all. That did not need it. But I do believe that they put it in there to prepare people for Justice League. Like, I but do did believe... Did you actually see the original edit of it was four hours long? <laughs> what? And they had to cut it down. Oh, that's what right, they because they cut Carrie Kelly out of it. I forgot. They were supposed to have um, the Robin. Robin was supposed to be in it from um, The Dark Knight Returns. The, uh, the female Robin was supposed to be in it, Carrie Kelly. The character's name was Carrie Kelly in it. Um, because I forgot. They cut her out of it. Um, I thought there was a bigger scene with Aquaman and the Flash. Um, yeah, so they did actually cut a lot out. I'm, in I'm, 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 yeah, I'm interested in seeing the rated R version that they're supposed to be coming out on DVD. Like, I'm, I'm interested in seeing what happens there. I'm, I'm, especially if Lois gets naked, that'd be fantastic. She near enough was, weren't she? Yeah, she was. Fucking hell! It's yeah. one of those yeah. so well edited yes. bits you actually imagine nipple. You yes. actually saw. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen the nipple. I've seen the nipple. Um, Ben Affleck as Batman was fucking fantastic. He was, he was. Other than Wonder Woman, he was the best thing out of that, out of that movie. Um, Henry Cavill just wasn't that good. Um. Mr. Monotone. Yeah, and I don't blame him on that. I blame I, I blame Zack Snyder on that. That's the type of character Zack Snyder likes. Um, I'm trying to think what else. 
Uh, also, I mean, I don't have it. a lot of critical points about it. It was just, it just wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. I know it's um, the first time I've got to speak to anyone about it since the latest trailer, but in that great that um, I know it was all but confirmed because they caught him on fucking set filming. What? That um, Affleck's going to be in uh, Suicide Squad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. I think there's a huge. This is supposed to be the the Harley Quinn. Like, evidently, they're supposed to do a flashback of how of. I think they're going to do a flashback of each Suicide Squad member, and I think they're supposed to. That's where the Joker. Uh, that's where Harley Quinn's beginnings are supposed to be. Although they're not following the real Harley Quinn's beginning, because the real Harley Quinn was a therapist for the Joker. She was convinced that she could cure the Joker, and what happened is the Joker made her psychotic like turned her into a psycho um but it it just it just didn't flow very well it felt very clunky at times it just it just was me and that's all i'm gonna say about it like i'm done with that like, it's just it, it's not even bad enough for you to get angry with no it. just, like it wasn't sort of yeah like it's, it's a good film but it's, I wouldn't, yeah you know. i still like henry cavill as as superman he just needs to show more emotion and I blame, I don't blame Henry Cavill for that because Henry Cavill is a great actor. I blame Snyder for that. I 100% blame Snyder for that. So the only reason why you don't like Marvel movies is because everybody else likes them. No, no, no. I just, if you like it, enjoy it, but just don't rub it in my face. It's like fucking you in the defense of Marvel. Like, you should fucking like it. Because, no, There's something wrong with I'm you, not say, No, no, this is the problem. This is the problem that I have with you, right? Is that you don't like it, but you don't know why you don't like it. Look, I found the first one boring. The first Avengers movie? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I tried watching Iron Man because I thought, right, I'm Iron Man that is sort, you great, know. Great and I still movies. found that slightly boring. That was better, but it was still slightly boring. Uh, Iron Man one and Iron Man two, I really like. Iron Man three, I didn't really like. Um, but it's because of my ex on Iron Man three. But you um, actually said if you don't like Avengers, from what I know about you, you're like Iron Man. You read yeah. the thingy about him being yes. You know, like rich business yes. and, you know, building up these yes. things. And I thought, I'll give it a go. And I just, you know, that was better. But I just found it like, oh, when's it going to be done? <laughs> is yeah, it everyone because says how mind-blowing is it, everything is. Is it because is. you're watching it at home? Is that it? It's because you're watching it at home. You're not seeing well, it Yeah, the I've not gone to the cinema. Or anything, See, I really think you should give this Captain, you should give Captain America Civil War a chance in the theater. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Well, if you come over here and go and watch it with me, then How the will. fuck am I going to do... Dude, I have a wedding I have to go to. I've got to take M on a, on a fucking uh, trip. I've got hey, a go lot to do. take it to a trip to England. No, don't. No, M, we are not going to England. Don't even expect a plane ticket for fucking England. I'm going to pick you up in a car. We're going to go somewhere. I'm not taking you to England. Don't <laughs> put that thought into the ether. What's wrong with you? Like a fucking... Oh, yeah. <sighs> All right. You're miserable. You're a horrible person. Let's move on. We're moving on to our first story. Fucking say that <laughs> on a podcast. I'm going to cut. What's the deal with the crazy moods and the sun changing your attitude? You need to bleed it out. Go ahead and bleed it out. Yeah, I'm pissing, moaning, shout and groan That's all I hear when I'm walking in the door You need to bleed it out We'll go ahead and bleed it out Hormonal rage is burning in your eyes And every hour on the hour you start to cry And every month it happens yet again Never end, just take a pill and make it go away. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was the period song on uh by Shane Berg on YouTube, guys. Why are we talking about periods, Wayne? Because I mean, they're getting quite anger in Indiana. Right? They are getting pissed in Indiana. So this is from broadlyvice.com. So the menstruating hordes of Indiana 
are running a terror campaign on the GOP, which is the Grand Old Party, which is the Republicans over here in America. The right wingers, Wayne, is the right wingers. So the Trumps. Yep, the Trumps, the Trumps, the Cruises, the dickheads. In the wake of Indiana's extreme new anti-abortion legislation, women in the state are calling the governor to let him know what their uteruses are up to in unflinching detail. So I'm going to read a little bit, and then I'm going to I'm literally going to um, read you exactly what they left him on some voicemails. <laughs> I love this shit. This is the best campaign ever. Do you ever get that feeling Republican lawmakers are way too interested in the goings-on of your uterus? Just last month, Republican Governor Mike Pence, who is a fucking cunt... Mike That's Pence. Not in the article. That's not in the article, but he's a cunt. Mike Pence is a fucking. He's a bleeding cunt. That's exactly what he is. He's a bleeding cunt. Signed off on a vicious and invasive anti abortion law that forbids a woman from aborting a pregnancy due to fetal. Fetus genetic abnormalities, meaning that in Indiana, a woman can be forced to carry a pregnancy to term, even if her doctor has told her the baby will be stillborn. You see why Mike Pence is a cunt now, Wayne? Under the new law, women are also forced to pay for uh, for a fetus funeral if they abort or miscarry. No. Are you fucking That's kidding me? That's fucking salt in the wound, isn't it? Don't you think? Yes. Yes, Wayne, it is. Because he's... What, Wayne? What is he? Uh, twat. He's a twat. Indiana already had a stringent abortion law in the books. The laws included safety guidelines for clinics that provided abortions, that they have admitting privileges to a nearby hospital, that the building have certain width and hallways, which yeah. effectively are meant to I regulate those ones. Well, hang on, which effectively are meant to regulate providers out of existence. Oh. It, Indiana is also a state in which women can be prosecuted for feticidal if they induce a miscarriage. So they can be prosecuted if they think that any foul play is being done. While these laws purport to, uh, to look out for the health of the women and children, they really only exist on several limited access to abortion. Severely. Severely, thank you. Severely limited access to abortions. The menstruating hordes of Indiana are fed up and have decided that the only way to make Mike Pence the cunt and other GOP werewolves get off their back uh, is to give them the intimate access to their vaginas they so desperately crave. Enter Periods for Pence, a group of women dedicated to calling, tweeting, and emailing Governor Mike Pence to let him know what their uteruses are up to. Here's a typical message. This is from, looks like, Brittany Ann at Boiler, Brit, at Boiler underscore Brit on Twitter, in case you want to follow her. The law, sorry, I should, I should do this in more of a... The law, don't you know, was being discussed a lot in the news. I read the bill and realized that it was both intrusive and confusing, says Sue, the woman who created periods for Pence on Facebook. I said to my husband, if... He's this worried about what goes on in there. Maybe I should just call and text him about my period. And I went back that night and started the page. Indiana women like Kathy Miller, 24, are taking Pence and Bill's author, Casey Cox, at their word. Since these men are so concerned about uh, her uteruses, Miller is giving them weekly updates. My period was really late, Miller says. And I thought maybe I'd uh, I had a miscarriage. And I called Mike Pence to let him know. And I got Katie. Katie is the name of the woman who fields the calls for Mike Pence. And she's taken on folk, a folk hero status of the periods for Pence Facebook page, where many people share anecdotes about various ex, expirate, exasperous responses. As soon as uh, she heard a woman's voice, she knew what was up. I let her know that my period had been really late and that I might be, my, I might have been pregnant. But I smoke and drink a lot, so... How would uh, how would the governor feel about that? She sounded really irritated. She said, "The governor's not in." And I asked if if I could talk call back and let him know about my late period. She said she would take she wouldn't take any calls from me. I called back again and she said the same thing. Uh Chelsea Black 28 called Pence's office recently and reached Katie. 
I said, I just wanted to let the governor Pence know that I'm currently on my period and wanted some advice about what I should do to better be in compliance with the new statutes. I also asked if anal oral sex would be considered a waste of millions of babies or perhaps thought of as the earliest term abortions possible. Katie was not amused and hung up. (laughs) I love how Katie's an actual character on this. (laughs) Me too. It's important to me to voice my displeasure and disdain for Kurt and Paul for current policies anyway she goes on there's more of these women out there by the way if you guys want to check it out great facebook page it's periods for pence on facebook it is fantastic to see women going after the gop for uh for pretty much attacking their uteruses because that's exactly what they're doing wayne what do you think about that wow i don't when i just feel a bit of douche like when when you're reading out and i said um like well, yeah, like certain Whitworth hallways and yeah. access to hospitals. <laughs> that sound decent. It did sound decent, didn't it? Until you went, yeah, that's just legislation just to make sure that they don't, you know, there's less of them. Correct, correct. Like the a lot of abortion clinics can't get a hospital to sign on with them because a lot of the hospitals around here are run by um, church organizations. Oh, God. Yeah, so, they're definitely not going to sign on to that, are Yeah, they? so if the only hospital near you is run by a church organization... They won't. They won't agree to admit any of your patients if you've had a problem, and therefore, hospital. yeah. Therefore, you're not going to be certified. Therefore, you have to close your practice. Is there anything the church don't get involved with? Pretty much nothing at this point in my life. And ruining. Um. But what about what about the women, Wayne? What about the women telling telling Mike Pence the cunt who they've, uh, they've about his got, periods? Am I a twat for this? Right. What I feel like they're well entitled to be pissed off mm-hmm. to have a little group or whatever, but. This is like going overboard, and these are like they're getting to the point where they're now being annoying as well. Well, yeah, that's the whole point. He's being, an, he's completely screwed them, and wanted, yeah, almost literally screwed them, and wanted to make, and wants to make sure that he controls their reproductive rights. So they feel the need to uh, share what goes on in their reproductive system. I don't see a problem with that. He obviously like, feels like he needs to control it. So if he needs to control it, he obviously wants an update for it. But he's not going to listen to anything they say. Like this tweet where it goes like, at GovPens in, my period is almost over. Just some spotting. So glad I can share with you now that <laughs> women's health is your business. That's so great. And there's another one at the bottom here. Let's get it up. It's at so GovPens, I am. Some cramping tonight, but that might just be because I ate cheese and I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> but for your information, it's just in case. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. It's 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 such a good way to be a um, an activist without being like without having to leave your own home. Essentially, I love it. A great. I I I Joy's love it. Twitter. I think more people should be like that. I I. Every time I try to get on Twitter, I try to write something to Mike Huckabee and tell him he's a fucking asshole. You're one of these people. Yep. I'm proud. And proud of it because they're assholes. They're fucking assholes trying to control what women can do with their bodies. It's ridiculous. It's utterly ridiculous, man. This coming from the man that wants a separate toilet in his house so women can go in that one. No, I want a separate toilet in my... Why do you always get that mixed up? I want a separate toilet in my house so I can go in that one. (laughs) <laughs> so I can go in that one because women are not of equal standards. So that, that my so that my nasty, about. disgusting, stinky, gross poops don't invade my my significant other's no nostrils. Apparently, I burnt a bit of the toilet seat away because I keep pissing, and that's burnt the little rubber bit <laughs> that's underneath not, the toilet you seat. You can't do that, Wayne. <laughs> Why do you dribble. think your pee is acid? I don't know, but that is right. If you know the little rubber legs that are underneath the toilet yes, seat that yes. go under the pan. Yes, yes. Well, I've got to admit, there is one of mine that is corroded. <laughs> Why is it one of yours? Well, it's not Claire, because she's pissing right into the bowl, isn't she? I'm the one standing sprinkling everywhere. <laughs> sprinkling. So she's trying to train me into wiping <laughs> everything up, everything. Well, <laughs> let's go into something else. How about that? All right. Let's move into something else other than Wayne's pissing hat. Here we go. From my heart and from my hand, why don't people understand my intention? Sex! Shoot. 
Good gracious. Sorry, I was watching the video to Weird Science. I forgot that chick's on it. Just... You've ruined the story now. Why? I don't know. Anyway, I'm holding my glass of That's wine while sitting here. great I'm holding song. My... Why do you Shut hate up. that song? Shut up, you're ruining my fuck's sake. Oh. I'm holding my glass of wine to look more intelligent while I'm reading this in my underwear. Okay. So, okay. Anyway, have you ever wondered, Christopher, how much whale vomit is worth? No, I haven't. you sick. <laughs> why, why would whale vomit be worth anything? What, is whale, what does whale vomit look like? Well, we'll get into that because there's a story. Oh, and right. that really isn't what I fucking thought it was anyway. <laughs> I don't think it's what I look for either. Smells like a fortune. Oh, this is Huffington Post, by the way. Give it oh, credit. Uh, smells like a fortune. A British couple was looking to cash in on their discovery of a large piece of whale vomit, possibly worth more than $70,000. See, this is freaking me out already. A piece. A piece. Like, you can hold it in your hand. Gotta find one of these. And, Gotta and find it won't one slop everywhere. Gotta find one. Gotta find one. A piece is worth five grand? 70000 Oh, what? $70,000. $70,000? Yep, for like a football-sized bit, yeah. What? Okay, um, everyone's gonna be going to the beach now. I know, they? I know what I'm doing this week. I'm not, I'm not going. Well, to you're, that still you're house. going where whales are. Like, not... If a whale don't knock your little beach house over, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going. I'm not going to the beach house. I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna go and walk the shore until I find some fucking whale vomit. <laughs> I don't have to work. All I do is look for whale vomit all year. The vomit, better known as ambergris, is Amber. a valuable resource used by perfume makers to help scent last longer. Oh, lovely. Oh, I nice. have heard they put all kinds of weird shit in perfume. They do. They do. They put lots of weird things in perfume. Piss is one of them, isn't it? Yep. Some types of horse piss. Uh, you keep reading, I'll bring it up. Uh, Gary Williams and his wife, Angela, found the pricey puke. Love it. Ugh. While walking along the beach near Morecambe Bay in Lancashire. Oh my god, oh! it's England. <laughs> So you're here. Yeah, you talk about Lancashire all the time. It's down a section of beach where no one really walks, Gary told the mirror. It smells too bad, though. It's a very distinctive smell. Like a cross between squid and a farmyard manure. Oh. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Scientists believe that the ambergris forms when a whale swallows a foreign object, like a squid beak. According to the National Geographic, the whale will grease up the object to ease it from the exit from its body. In other words, it pooped it out. Yep. It feels like a rock hard rubber ball. Gary 48 added the texture is like wax, like a candle. Well, that so is wax. So, what it says right here this waxy lump of digestive tract of sperm whales. When you touch it, you get wax sticking to your fingers. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and you're going to get whale vomit on your. Despite. They're known as well vomit. It's now commonly held that ambergris is discharged from the arse. Sorry, rear end. <laughs> National <laughs> Geographic explains. Gary and Angela, both 49, wisely wrapped up the lump in a scarf and confirmed that they'd struck, not gold, whale vomit. Whale vomit. I could just imagine them walking down the beach like comforting it like a baby. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> the couple has filled an office from potential buyers in France and New Zealand. The Guardian reports, The trade of ambergris is illegal in the United States and Australia as part of broad restrictions on whale exploitation. Exploitation, sorry. Oh, I got to the last fucking word. <laughs> Fuck so it. some of the weird things that, um, that are in Lady Gaga's fame has blood and semen in it. Nice. Um... I sit in semen. Does that mean I smell nice? <laughs> I guess. I guess. I guess. But you're saying, yeah, the amber grease, uh, chloroform, virgin blood. If, at one point, some of them had virgin blood in it. Um, Clivet musk. It's musk, vanilla like scent meant to capture the determination and fire that drives men's passion. Also turned on for uh, jaguars, field researchers trying to film big cats. Um, jaguar piss. Cheetah piss, um, rose petals that were in space. What? Yeah, yeah. Me call bollocks on that one. Me just think I've used normal rose petals. Zen by Shinindo in 1998, NASA let the industry giant International Flavors and Fragrances put a rose petal on the space shuttle. Sorry, put a rose on the space shuttle Discovery to see if its zero gravity affected its essential oils. And it 
In turn, it smells. The resulting scent, floral, woody, and spiritual, was incorporated into a perfume and sold predictably in a sleek sci-fi-esque bottle. Kid you not. I don't want to wear pet. I guess it's the same for aftershave, is it? Uh, I don't know. I didn't look at it. I just looked at perfume. I'm guessing, man. Dude, I got to find some of these. You you need to go find one of these, man. What, a block of fucking rubber yeah. whale shit? Yes. Well, it's not whale sh- I mean, it is whale. I mean, it technically, it I guess it is whale shit. Hole. I guess it, yeah, it comes out of the butthole, so I guess it is whale shit. It it's does look like wax, ass. doesn't it? It does look like a, it looks like a ball of wax with some, like, skin on it. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that that's worth seventy thousand. That 70 one that they're grand. holding is it seventy grand? It looks just like a football. It looks almost exactly like a football. Like you can mold it like a football. You can mold it. Into do all like do shape. all do all UK people wear in like full on jacket and sweaters to the beach? Depends what time <laughs> of the fucking year it is. If it's winter, then yeah. It's fucking like three degrees or something. Then yeah, I want to wear a coat. <laughs> it doesn't look hot. It, I mean, it doesn't look cold that day. There's no snow Perhaps on the ground or anything. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Look, he's got he's got galoshes on. <laughs> to be fair, in he, is he wearing gloves? Turned the article off. Is he wearing glo- uh, wearing glasses? Is he got gloves? He does not have gloves on. That's the one fucking item I would wear if I was <laughs> holding that. <laughs> Seventy grand for vomit, man. That's crazy. That's insane. So, mm. so, so why is it well expo- exploitation um, to sell their waste if you're not harming the whale at all? I don't think I don't think that's exploit. I don't think that is exploitation at all. I don't yeah, think but so. that says the states have put a ban on it. That's bullshit. Are you serious? Yes, yeah, what the article said, so it must be true. Fucking PETA lobbyist bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. That has nothing to I do. I can understand the whale if you're is... ramming your hand up yes, their chest and yes. pulling it out. Exactly. I'm sorry, I'm, <laughs> the that's chaps. very bad. And it was concerned it was the wrong hole anyway. You I'm racist an fuck. You racist asshole. Oh if you're going to say a very bad statement, I got about four in one go there because I was incorrect with everything I just <laughs> everything. said. If you're going to ram your arm up their asshole, that's bad. <laughs> Sorry, it's the wine. It's the dupa. Dupa. <laughs> the dupa. Um, if you're going to do that and pull it out, then I can understand the issue. Yeah. You're, but if you're finding it on the beach, then what's the... Nothing. Nothing's the problem. There's no problem. Man, I'm, okay, so it, it's it's taxes season here, right? It's tax season. Literally, I had to send my taxes off today to make sure they get sent off. Oh, so your financial year is April to April, like right? ours. Oh, yes, it? yes, yes. Do I... Know how many stamps to put on this letter? Nope. Did anybody teach me how many how many stamps to put on something? Nope. Did anybody teach me how to do taxes when I was young? Nope. Did anybody do any of this in school? Uh, did anybody teach me how to balance a checkbook in school? Nope. What's this got to do with wild well, shit? It's got to do with the United States not teaching their fucking citizens how to live. Wayne, I had no idea how to how to how to do my yeah, taxes. I still don't see the link to whale shit. <laughs> because they ban whale shit, they're worried about banning whale shit, picking up whale dookie from the side of the fucking ocean. But they won't teach us how to fucking do our taxes, and they won't teach me how to how many how many stamps are you supposed to put on a letter with like four pages in it? I don't fucking know. I have no idea. I don't know. Uh-huh. I ain't got a clue. I just do pay as you earn, so they just take it out as I go along. I have no idea. I have no. I, I wish I could do a pay as you earn, but they don't have that here. No, don't they? No, no, they do not have. That's not the way it works in America. Everyone pays taxes. Everybody pays taxes. With us, you get like ten thousand pound free yeah. earnings, mm-hmm. and then um, they just charge you a percentage after that, and they just take it as you earn it. Nope. Nope. So then uh, when April come and everyone else like who owns businesses have to pay it properly because they've got a business, they're shitting themselves. I'm just going, what's it all about, you know? <laughs> no, it's all based on... No, I think most businesses pay their taxes at the beginning of the year, which is like February. I'm pretty sure it's, that's the case. February. Most of them. Anyway. Anyway, let's get off taxes. Let's get on something better, Wayne. Let's get on some... Uh, some Find business. wild shit and sell it. Yeah, do that. But I was talking about... The- all you ladies pop your pussy like this. Shake your body, don't stop, don't miss. All you ladies pop your pussy like this. Shake your body, don't stop, don't miss. Just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it now. Lick it good, suck this pussy just like you should. Right now, lick it good, suck this pussy just like you should. My neck, my back, lick my pussy and my crack. My neck, my back, lick my pussy.
fucking hate that song. <laughs> no, no, right. There's a, there was a club in Stowe Market, yeah, yeah called yeah. Excel, and mm. they were fucking terrible. It played like songs like four or five times while you're in there. Really, the same song four or five yeah. times? Yeah, wow, that's crazy. Not like you know, so you'd be in there for about forty five minutes, and they play the same song again. Yeah, oh. and you're just like fuck, fuck and that. that was one of their fucking favorites. That was. So really? whenever I hear that song, I think about being drunk in Excel, fucking rolling around on the floor and shit. I fucking hate it. So when they played that song, did, did people get dirty on the dance floor? It was Stone Market. They were dirty anyway. <laughs> Fuck, were they fucking each other's brothers and sisters? <laughs> <laughs> so you must have too? songs that you hear and that take you back somewhere to like a club or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually just thinking about it too because I was listening to um, some Raids Against the Machine uh, this week. I've been listening to a lot of music this week. <clears throat> on night crew and i never i was never a club guy we never went to clubs but i've been to concerts and i've seen rage against the machine it just brought me back to actually my buddy who's who's getting married we're going to a bachelor party my buddy john he's the one that we went i went to a concert with and we saw them live we were we were huge rage against the machine fans and it just br- bring back a lot of memories lately yeah but i get that yeah it just you know it makes me angry because i remember there was this one night where i tried rolling up the stairs <laughs> what I don't remember it. Why did you try rolling up the stairs? I don't know. I was pissed. I don't even remember it. <laughs> now, was this with Claire or without Claire? Oh, that was when I was single. This is when you were single. And then I used to try and, like, there was women dancing in cages, so I used to try and grab them in the cage and get kicked out. <laughs> what? I never remember those parts of the evening. They're one of those when you wake up fucking Sunday and you get text going, what the fuck happened, mate? And what you go, did what? you do? What did you do, Wayne? You filthy, filthy boy. <laughs> well, Wayne, we're talking about pussy because there's a bunch of pussy articles in in the in the news this this week and last week, man. There's a bunch of them, dude. So we're gonna go down a couple of them. Uh, I got three of them for you, and the last one, the last one is the, probably the most interesting one. But we got three of them for you. Quick fire pussy round. Yep, quick fire pussy. Ooh, pop that pussy. Pop that pussy. Um. Uh, here's one. How eating pussy could be good for your health, Wayne. Now, Wayne, you don't eat pussy that often, do you? Yeah. You what? What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. Like you eat pussy every day? No. Okay. So I, you don't... I do it every time I have sex. Which, well, you're probably right. It's not that often. <laughs> I thought you meant in regularity to sex. Sorry. Yeah. Well, yeah. We can go regularity to sex. So what? What? What about it? I do it. Don't bother me. Uh, she likes it. And so wait, so you eat her, but she doesn't eat you? She don't let me nowhere near her mouth. Don't you think that's fucked I up? I think that's unfair, but she... Don't, wait, she doesn't suck you, but, but you eat her no. out. Is yeah. She, where, is she home? Her excuse... Yeah, she's upstairs. Her excuse is, right? Yeah. Fucking, well, you choose to go down on me. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Yeah. That's fucked up, seriously. Like, seriously. That's... That's pretty fucked up. Not like I'm not lying. Like that's fucked up, Wayne. You should you should stop going down. But I like her. Oh well, yeah. If you like it, that's great. But she should suck but your dick. That is dude. with the hope that she'd return. Yeah, her. I've even done the old crafty thing, right? Oh, you go right. down on her, Uh-oh. and then you go. turn around, you stick your fucking balls in her mouth to try and instigate. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixty nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She doesn't bite. She's like fucking all ball. Fishing. <laughs> She's all back. <laughs> Say, say She'll just again. sit and watch hairy balls bounce around. She will not do nothing. <laughs> so wait, so you just what have you just? I've literally tried everything. I was about to say, what if you just take your dick? I was like, well, literally, what if you just take your dick and like shove it between her lips? She won't do it. The <laughs> most she'll do is lick the side of the shaft. And I'm like, what fucking use is that? But that's no use. You might as well not no. even touch it. Just don't touch it. Just don't touch it. Don't touch it. If you're going to lick the side of it, don't touch it. Because I, it does nothing. There's no fucking point. There's nothing. There's no feeling there at all. There's no feeling. Just Thank don't you. touch it. It's ridiculous. You just, all you're going to do is lick the sides, lady. Don't fucking do anything. Just jerk me off, okay? Just give me a handy. I'm glad I don't have to deal with this shit. <laughs> I'm glad I don't. <laughs> If she comes down, you bring her little ass towards this microphone. Do you understand that? You understand me? Go get her if you want. Fucking go get her. Go get her. I'm going to put her on pause. We're going to pause for a second, and uh, we're going to get clear. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. 
The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. All right, so we got Claire back. Claire, how are you? Hi. I'm good, thank you. Say hi to the listener. Hi. <laughs> it's so hard to be mean to her, Wayne, because she's so nice. I can be mean. It don't bother me. I know, because you're a cunt. But Claire, Claire. Yeah. Claire Bear, Yeah. as Wayne calls you. Why will you not suck this man's dick? Okay, you want an honest answer? Yes, I want a completely honest answer. The best. Oh, I'm about to get shafted. Yeah, you're about yeah, to get shafted. So. Yes. Well, it just doesn't taste very nice. He's always got his hand down his pants playing with it. <laughs> and by the time it comes out, it tastes like tuna. <laughs> it tastes like what? Tuna. What is tuna? Tuna. Oh, tuna. <laughs> Wayne, <laughs> the honest truth. Aunt and I you always knew that. you had a vagina. <laughs> Wayne, you know that's true. Shut up. <laughs> Wayne, do you not wash yourself properly? <laughs> yes. So no, why, does your, doesn't. why does your dick taste like tuna? I fucking do everything down there. I put it right back, fucking scrub it with fucking hand and soap and everything. Oh, yeah. Sometimes he'll go for a whole week without washing. It smells so bad. Oh, hey, that's exaggeration. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I'm like today, I've not washed because I'm not at work. Exactly. Though. Fucking hell, you make me sound a bit like a like, like pig. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wait, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to. I want to try to play devil's advocate here. Claire, <laughs> so literally, have you had sex as soon as he's come out of the bathroom before? Like, out of the shower. Yeah. Like, he's taking yeah. a shower. Obviously, he's clean. He should taste fine. What's the I problem? I think so. So what's the problem? <laughs> so if he takes a shower, washes his dick before you have sex, what's the problem? Obviously, it would taste okay. I don't really, though. You can't taste that bad. It's just it just tastes like salt. It's like skin. We've asked the girls on um I think even had you Claire, Claire wash my like. dick for me and then tried it and you've still mad. Yeah, yeah, look yeah. You washed his dick for him and he you still won't blow him. But this is see, this is the kicker, Claire. He he eats you out. That's his choice. I don't ask. Say it. that's exactly what I fucking said. <laughs> I don't ask him to go down there. That's you know. fucked up. You know that's that's not that's not cool. You're supposed to be a partner. You're supposed to reciprocate. I've even <laughs> dangled my balls in her face and she still won't bite. <laughs> yeah, what's oh, what's up with that? He he eats you out, but it's okay for you not to not to give it back to him. It's... You don't fucking taste like fucking candy either, love. Well then you don't have to do it. I'm not making you. But he likes it. <laughs> Exactly, and I don't like doing it the other way around. But you, so. a, a little bit. You got to do it a little. Like this is a big contention for me. Okay, the, if you ask him, this is a big contention for me. I love <laughs> to have my dick sucked. Love to have my dick sucked. I love think it. all men do. You know, but all men don't get what they want, do they? Oh fucking <laughs> Christ! See, I mean, what man? Not as fucking oh, sorry, nice as she man, makes it. All right, what time. man does not like having their dick sucked. Well, some really. some guys do. It. Some guys, Claire. Some guys do not prefer it. Like they yeah, don't. Yeah, right. No, oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. I'm serious. I'm serious. Some guys prefer sex over blowjobs. <clears throat> some guys do prefer sex over blowjobs. I've had a couple of guys tell me that in the past that they they don't really care for blowjobs. It's not their thing. Is that your mate from the when you kissed him? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, 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 that's him. Um, he 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 just didn't. He likes sex more than he likes blowjobs. A couple of couple of guys I know like sex more than like they just think blowjobs are overrated. It just either feels weird or it's just overrated. Yeah, but, I think they're overrated. But you're not the one getting them. <laughs> First of all, not overrated. Second of all, as a woman, it's just this thing getting shoved down your throat that if you yeah. do it for so long, it makes your throat really sore and yeah. hurt. She blamed me for giving her hoop and cough. I did not. <laughs> He gave me tonsillitis once, though, when I done that. Well, that just means he's big. You should be proud. <laughs> really, Wayne? Yeah. You've got an answer for that. Why you does he to. need to answer that? <laughs> <laughs> he gave you tonsillitis. Why does he need to answer that? He got a long dick. There's a long dick Wayne over there. What the fuck? What the Thank fuck? You. 
<laughs> probably not actually not the nicest that. thing you actually said. Probably the nicest thing I've ever said about you. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> So have all have you any of your previous boyfriends, then, Claire? Is their dick as bad oh, as mine? Yeah. They're all bad. Right, so, that oh, so you're not just okay. saying it's my personal. No, it's then. just something I don't like doing. Right. But you gotta you gotta do it sometimes. Come on, the man hasn't had his dick sucked since before you guys did. <laughs> Come on, you gotta remember suck when your dick I done I done a favor like wash up or done something, and you said I owe you a blowjob. That I'm still waiting. Oh. That was like five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> You bribed me to do the. Do you still up remember? Do you still rem- do you remember that, Claire? Yeah. Oh, you do. Okay, okay. I'm just making sure. Like, like guys will remember that if you promise blowjobs, guys will remember blowjobs. Like fucking, <laughs> yeah. they won't remember your birthday, but they'll remember when you said you were gonna give them a fucking blowjob. <laughs> that was years ago. He's still. Yeah. Fuck yes, he remembers because he's waiting for that fucking blowjob. <laughs> well, I have asked nicely. Oh, listen to him. Listen he might get him, one Claire. one day. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just keep waiting, Wayne. Just keep waiting until she hasn't, you know, she's 87 million years old and... She's just like, oh, I just don't feel like getting up on fucking dentures around <laughs> exactly, my dick. Exactly. Oh. She's just, you know, I just don't feel like getting up on you today, Wayne. So just go ahead and plop it in my mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, Claire, seriously, you got to blow the guy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> How many times has he licked your vagina and you've not blown him? Like, can I get an estimate? Wayne, and don't. Don't say anything, Wayne. Huh? Sorry, what? That was like literally <laughs> minutes of silence. Yeah, that was the silence of the year that you guys will never hear. How many times have you has he given you oral sex and you've not reciprocated it? Quite often, I would have, I think. Like almost every time you have sex. Uh, oh no! Oh no! He doesn't go down on me that often. Fuck no. up! No, he don't. <laughs> Fucking lie. <laughs> Does so, all right. So, like, let's just let's just be. Let's go in the middle. So, every other time you have sex, no, no. What, like, every third know. time you have sex? No, not even that. Really? I say maybe like once a year or something. Oh, fuck <laughs> off! Yeah, <laughs> you know that's like true. Cow. You know that's true. Wayne's gonna start keeping a log. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> fucking tally chart. <laughs> He's on the side of his night nightstand, he's gonna s- start scratching in. <laughs> Honestly, it's about, it's about every other time. It's about every other time. I licked the vagina I'm this fire. day. I huh? licked the vagina this say? day. What did you say? He said it was like every other time. Yeah, right. That's what he said. Do you re- do you not like it that much, or do you, do you do like it? You like when he does it, though. He's good at it. I don't like the thought of him going down there, but then once he's down there, it's all right. Oh. <laughs> so you don't like the thought of him going down there? No. I've got to admit the time I find toilet roll down there really... Oh, put- Wayne! <laughs> he's told that story multiple times, don't worry. He's the <laughs> Listeners already know about that story, don't worry. About it. That's another thing why I don't like going down on Wayne, though. He's constantly farting as well. <laughs> it smells like shit. Well, I mean, there's going to be an odor when you go down anywhere in somebody. I mean, whether you like it or not, your butthole's right next to your other part. That's the good part. No, Sorry. No, we're about to have sex or something. We're lying in the bed, and I'm, like, getting ready for it. And then he'll yeah. do this massive fart, and it just completely puts you off. Yeah, but you don't... No, I didn't. You not. fucking do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm I feel like I'm a marriage counselor right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual therapist trying to get you guys through it. <laughs> yeah, Wayne's all like he's like, Oh yeah. I'm all like, oh, you know, Wayne he's sort of are we up for this? <clears throat> and he's like, <laughs> like shit in his pants. <laughs> That's just disgusting. Now, Claire, I did see a post for you on your Facebook page that said you were two hundred and thirty three percent. Dirty minded. Three hundred and thirty. Sorry, three hundred and thirty percent dirty minded. That is quite true, actually. In my mind, in my mind, it is. Wayne knows I can be pretty dirty. Like what? Like, give me an example. Like, 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 give me an example of the thirty dirtiest thing you talked about. You thought about today. The only thing she gets filthy is when she fucking watches Fifty Shades of Grey. That's about it. Or fucking (laughs) Sherlock (laughs) as a Benedict. Look, I will, I will buy you a subscription to Kink.com if you watch some shit on there and do it to Wayne. 
I'd love that. I would love to get kinky with Wayne, but he don't want it. He don't want anything like that. <laughs> First of all, Wayne will do anything <laughs> you ask him to do. <laughs> no, he will not. I've asked him. Yes, you he don't will. know what he's like. Once he's not on here, I've asked him. Oh, oh, no, I don't want... Yeah, he... <laughs> you know that's true. That's anyway, absolutely... what what was that? What was that? What was that questionnaire like, Claire? Give me a couple of. The... Do you remember? Do you remember a couple of the questions that they asked you? Wait, what? On the questionnaire that said you were 333% dirty minded. You don't do a questionnaire, it just calculates your result. Right? How yeah, is that? it literally looks at your name and goes, yeah. yeah. That's one yeah, of those yeah. fucking names. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's pretty much true, though. <laughs> <to be honest>. <laughs> <laughs> you should do it now, like now, and see what yours come up as. Me? <laughs> I'll do mine as well. All right. Absolute bollocks. It's fucking nonsense. <laughs> mine will dude. come up as 5%. <laughs> <laughs> this is nonsense. The easiest way is to go onto Claire's profile. Yeah, this is gonna be not. This is gonna be completely bullshit. It's supposed to be the quick fire pussy round, and that really is. I know, but it's gonna. It, it'll turn back into the. Well, I mean, we got Claire on here. It's just a quick fire. <laughs> How oh, dirty! Fine. Your Log in my thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Plus oh. bullshit. One hundred and seventy percent. Are you fucking kidding me? Two hundred forty-one. <laughs> I am dirty. All ambiguously <laughs> aside. You clearly have a lot more dirty thoughts than merely some harmless jokes from third grade. Your clean slate exactly. isn't that clean at all. Let's be fair, though. Who's really is completely clean, eh? Well, let me, tell, let me tell you something. Off. There's a good one here. That who's your evil twin? Chris should be quite obvious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, my, yeah. I have an evil twin. It's my brother. <laughs> okay, Wayne. Right, I'm going to ask you this question. Do you okay, remember? Claire. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Do you remember when we first... Oh, hang on, sorry, I've lost my ear. Not live radio, go ahead. (laughs) Sorry, it fell out. I got that excited. (laughs) Yeah, I got way into tension at work by eating a banana seductively, and he thinks I'm not dirty. I was literally... I was given a blowjob to a banana. Yeah, but you never give it to me. I did, though. (laughs) Yes, I did. And you know, I, I shoved him into a bush, didn't I? And I was riding you, so don't give me that. (laughs) <laughs> all right while Don't i got you on here you know what and Let's... he says and he says i'm not dirty yeah all but right. that was like mm. fucking over 10 years ago still all right so still it's still in there mm. <laughs> all right scrap that so claire why did you mind don't you say a fucking word why what made you decide to uh date when let's go a date for oh it was just really nice we really got on so you got, but you guys were friends first, right? Oh yeah, we we're friends for quite a while he's, before we went out. Uh-huh. He's, he's always in the friend zone with everybody. And we knew, well, no, we knew everything about each other before we went out. You see? Yeah. <clears throat> so what made so, you? What made you turn from friend zone to let's go out? Well, you like them more as friends, don't you? You think, oh yeah, you know, this is the person for me. Why? Why? No, a lot of guys don't get that. A lot of guys get the oh. whole. A lot of guys get the whole. Well, we're friends. I don't want to ruin that. I'm not going to, I'm not, why would I date that person? Well, I was thinking that he, Wayne might be the person for me before I was with him, though. For, really? For quite a while. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? So, what, what made you think that? We went out as friends. I don't know if Wayne remembers, but we went out as friends. And I was just little things. So you went like, out, um, so you went out with a group of friends? No, just Wayne. Oh, just you and Wayne? Yeah, as friends. Okay. And, um... I remember we went to we went and got Chinese and we went, we ate Chinese by a lake and he Wayne couldn't stop farting. <laughs> not a lot's changed then. No, not a lot has changed at all. <laughs> I just thought, yeah, you know. Really? <laughs> <laughs> really? That was the yeah, you know. I might as well. Funny. <laughs> uh, you know, he makes me he made me laugh. He I'm does make you laugh a lot. He does Someone make you laugh. Someone who can make you laugh as well. Someone that can make you laugh is worth. Huh? You said someone that make you laugh is what? Is well, if they can make you laugh, you know there's something there. Oh, really? Basically, any man who makes a woman laugh, there's something. But know. it's not a. Um, it's not a. Uh, so he doesn't. You don't find him overly overly sexual. Um, <laughs> what does that mean? It means. Uh, it means you wouldn't come home and just be like, "Fuck, I wanted to fuck you all day long," and jump on him. I have done that. We have done. How long? How long has it been since you? About oh, it's only just over a week. What? Really? Yeah. A week? I fucked you up, didn't I? Yeah, Boom. it did. Why? What are you? Messed expecting? me up. I don't even remember. 
Yeah, I should stay. <laughs> All right, so so tell me so some, tell me what happened. You you were coming. You came home. Claire. Oh, you're talking about the, no. I remember we've been out in the car once, and Wayne start. We started. Uh, Wayne started playing with me in the car. Oh, that's hot. I like that. One. Exactly. Then we came home. And then we just started having sex. Nice. And that was that was quite good. Yeah. On the floor. Exactly. No, I was in just like we think we got in the door. I think I was in my like front room. Just we got in. Nice. So like on the couch. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Right. What the moldy one that's in the yeah little... stinks. The couch just <laughs> <is> stinks. <laughs> Yeah, but when you when the sex is that good, it, nothing matters at that point. Exactly. Yeah, it ma- nothing matters at that point. So what? Uh, so who? who what? What kind of? What kind of guy were you dating before Wayne? Oh God, uh, oh. asshole. A- ass assholes or just asshole? <laughs> just asshole. He banged he her from seeing me. Yeah, because he, he could see there was something there. You see. Oh, so he was like, "Don't you? You're not allowed to see her him anymore." Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, but how do you stop that when you work with the person? Yeah, she made him quit his job. <laughs> no, he left to be a f- no. Yeah, she he made left- he made you quit. Oh, he made me quit. Yeah, sorry, I thought you meant the other he one. He made sorry, you just quit. He made you quit. No, he uh yeah, he asked me to leave and go and work where he went to work, so I did. What? Why? Why would you do that for a guy? I don't know. I just I don't know. I don't know either. That's why I'm asking you. Why would you? Well, do- it weren't really all for him, though. I just wanted full time hours, and my work weren't given it. And he oh. was saying, well, he works, we're giving him full time hours. Gotcha. So I went and done that, but I hated it. And then I ended up back at Tesco again. That's where I lurched in. Jumped in. And that's where Wayne came in. Jump in. The door was open, so I fucking snuck in. <laughs> hey, man, you got to sneak in whatever door you can get into back door, front door, rear door, doesn't matter. By the way, why won't you have anal anal sex, Claire? I have. Wayne, she Who let told me get. You that? She, she let me get about three thrusts, and then she no, realized. I have. He's she realized what was happening, oh, and yeah. she seized right up. He's put it all the way in before. Yeah, I got about three thrusts. Just... She realized what was happening. <laughs> She's fucking enjoying it till then. Oh, <laughs> you know, See, lots I of have it. lots of girls have lots of girls have anal orgasms, Claire. Oh, I couldn't get that far. I didn't you, enjoy it. Though. You don't know that. You don't. You haven't properly done it yet. You don't know that. Don't judge it. You don't know that. You fucking once you realized you were loving it until you realized where it was and you oh, seized yeah. right up and told me to get it out. <laughs> <laughs> so you read all these books. You 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 read. Have you read Fifty Shades of Grey? Yes, I've read all okay. of them. Oh my it's like God. she loves the thought of this shit, but Horrible. she don't want to try it. It's weird. So you've read Fifty Shades of Grey, but you don't want to experience it? Oh, no, I do. That's what I keep asking Wayne to do, and he won't do it. Well, why don't you guys go to a sex shop together and pick out some stuff that you're going to do? Yeah, I'd like that. Yeah, but you're too tight as assholes, right? <laughs> You'll buy fucking little fucking lipstick dildos that are like the size of your finger for like 15 quid, and you went, oh, I don't want the £45, well, that's no, too there's much. Nothing, there's nothing stopping you buying them, is there, Wayne? You owe oh. more than me. Oh, Hello. I said I'd buy you a big one. You said that's not going in me. No, no you didn't. I you asked gotta... you to buy me. I asked for a whip, and you said no. I'm not I don't that. want whips. What the fuck? See, hey, if she's you. gonna enjoy it, buy a whip. Well, I could just smack her about with my fucking hand. <laughs> I just want to be whipped. Is that oh too much to ask? Is that too much to ask, Wayne? She just wants to be whipped. The lady I'll wants whip to be you whipped. When you suck me. <laughs> <laughs> You could do that. You could he whip while you. Me, you you he could. Won't hey, whip me. it's a good trade. Huh? You could. He could whip you while you're sucking him. He won't. Whip exactly. Me. He says he will, but he won't. Oh, he'll do it if he's getting a blowjob. He'll do anything to get a blowjob. <laughs> anything. <laughs> anything to get a blowjob at this point. Anything. <laughs> or even do the washing up. Do you wish? <laughs> do you wish she was circumcised, Claire? Uh. Oh yeah, maybe. My brother's circumcised. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, that probably. I don't would know help. why my brother is, and I'm not. Yeah, why aren't you circumcised? <laughs> yeah, why? I didn't even know that. <laughs> I didn't know your what? brother was either. <laughs> but you're not. That is weird, dude. Because we and him are brothers. Maybe you should ask your mom why you why why she circumcised him and not you. Yeah, I think he had issues. His skin was too tight. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's, that's why you taste like tuna. Your skin is too tight as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying this segment so much. I can't. It might like my literally my my. <laughs> I'm smiling so much. <laughs> All right. Um. 
All right, so I I, I have um, so Claire, yeah. if, if you want to be the sub, which I'm sure you do want to be the sub, yeah, yeah, reading those books, I'm sure you put yourself in the uh, in the place of sub ver- like a boat. Virgi- submissive, submissive oh, right. asshole. Sorry, sorry, love. Do you see what I have to, you know, <laughs> deal with? You didn't need to bark <laughs> back at me, did you? Yeah. See what I got? See what kind of amateur hour I'm dealing with over here, Chris. See, see what kind of amateur hour I'm dealing. With? Um, Claire. Yeah. If you're the submissive and you want him to be a proper dom, you have to get your own toys. Oh. It's it's just it's whatever you want to be used on you. You have to be able to be willing to bring it to him. I did. I got a blindfold for Valentine's Day, but he just shrugged it off. He's like, Ugh. "It's a fucking blindfold." <clears throat> so what? What's... It was a star. Blindfolds are awesome, dude. Dude, you exactly. get a blindfold. You get a blindfold. You strip her naked. You put her on the couch. Make her spread. If she moves, <laughs> then you tie her hands up and her legs up. Okay, because that's that's what yes. she gets if she fucking moves. She's not supposed to move once you're blindfolded. You're not supposed to move unless you're told. Okay, exactly. And then that's what you I do want. is you is you go into the kitchen and you get some different types of textured foods. Strawberries. She don't like food in bed. That gets her angry. Oh, I don't know she's not food. in bed. She's not in bed. She's on the couch. She's not in bed. Strawberries. Ice. No. They make her mouth get upset. Oh, ice. <laughs> I'd love it. Ice. Ice. Just different types of textures to just different kinds of ice. Jesus Christ! If I <laughs> yeah. f- fucking pick a food, it's, she's gonna be like, she's allergic to all of it. Chris, stop talking. <laughs> yeah. Jesus fucking Christ! Like, throw some mashed potatoes on her, Wayne. Who gives a fuck, dude? <laughs> she's blindfolded. <laughs> she Who can't fucking have cares? Mashed potatoes cream because uh, she's like, uh, she'll fucking get the but, shit. Oh my god! Either way, you two fucking complicated <laughs> motherfuckers have to be willing to. Once you're tied up and or blindfolded, you have to be willing to do things that you may not feel comfortable doing, Claire. That well, is yeah, the whole we'll reason. That, but... that is the whole reason of being blindfolded. If there wasn't a chance to do things that you are not willing to do, then why are you, why are you, why do you want to be blindfolded? I'd like to be blindfolded, and then Wayne, I'd like him to yeah yeah just do, for me do to do what to do stuff to whatever you want whatever yeah. you want there take you go. the mouth. What? Yes. It's the anticipation. What did yes. you say, Wayne? Dick in the mouth, he said. Look at what? Yes. If that's if that's the anticipation, that's the different style. But you have to be willing to move on from there, Wayne. <laughs> you can't just be dick in the mouth 24 hours a day, seven days a week, if the blindfold's on. You have to be willing to be moved on. <clears throat> the thing is, to get the dick in the mouth... Women, you know, have to be really, really aroused to want to do that. Yeah, That's I don't, why I like the, you know. Yeah, they I don't get line. you as wet as a fucking ocean. Oh, my God. <laughs> as wet as the ocean. I hope there's not that much salt in there. <laughs> so, so, yeah, but, but... But with that, like, like, like I said, Claire, you have to be willing to do things that you may not normally be willing to do. And if you're naughty... Then you get then you get spanked and or whipped. Yeah, that's fine. That's the point. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see if this works, Wayne. Come on. Play, Wayne. Have fun with us. What? Do what? <laughs> Were you not here for the last <laughs> five minutes? We were t- yes, it's like a fucking child. Like he never paid attention in school. Oh, I know. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> let's keep Claire on and let's move on to our last story. How about that? <laughs> well, I guess we'll do the pussy later, Wayne. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Here we go. Gay community. <laughs> Gay community. The devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind because he was way behind and he was willing to make a deal. When he came across this young man sewing on a fiddle and playing it hot, and the devil jumped up on a hickory stump and said, Boy, let me tell you what. I guess you didn't know it, but I'm a fiddle player too. And if you'd care to take a dare, I'll make a bet with you. Now you play pretty good fiddle, boy, but give the devil his due. I bet a fiddle of gold against your soul, because I think I'm better than you. The boy said, my name's Johnny, and it might be a sin, but I'll take your bet, and you're going to regret, because I'm the best as ever been. Johnny, you're awesome, up your bow, and play your fiddle hard. Ant is so pissed right now. <laughs> I play country on cerebral satire. All right, here we go. Why are we talking about the devil? Because we're going to find out if Claire and Wayne are moral. This is from IFLScience.com. I fucking love science.com. Want to be popular? 
You better follow some simple moral rules. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to read this to you guys, and you guys are going to tell me what you think about it as we go. It's very short, a couple of things, but I'm uh, just going to read it real gonna quick. going to make me look like an arsehole? Po- possibly, possibly. I do good enough for that myself. Imagine that an out-of-control trolley is speeding towards a group of five people. You are standing on a footbridge above next to a large man. If you push him off the bridge onto the track below, his body will stop the trolley before it hits the five people. He will die, but the five others will be saved. Should you push the man off the bridge? So Wayne or Whoa. Claire. Yeah. What's the fucking questions that? You want me to oh read, my God. You want me to read it one more time? <laughs> Surely you'd still be done for murder. I, so is that, is, that, is that your choice? I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't what do you push think? him. Fuck it. No, you push him off and save five. They don't give you a medal for that. They fucking do you for murdering the other one. I, I, I'm. I'm just asking what you think you should do. So I want to hear you guys talk it out. So keep talking. So you think you're gonna, either way. You think it's bad. Well, yeah. I'm not shoving a bloke off a fucking bridge and killing him. No. Okay. So you're not. So you're gonna let the five people die. Yeah, because they're fucking. Their five deaths are not on me. Those but five deaths are not death on you. Is on you. But you could have done something to to save those five people. Yeah, but their five deaths are not because of me. But that one death is because of me. I don't want to end up in prison. So you might say no. Killing someone is just wrong, regardless of any positive consequences there might be. Here you'd be making a moral decision in line with de detone logical moral theories, which focus on moral rules rights and duties maximize such as thou shall not kill and treat others as you wish to be treated otherwise known as the golden rule fit into this category so claire which do you which one do you choose um oh well, yeah i'm the same as way really. so you're the same you, you can't really just, because that poor man on the bridge has nothing to do with what's going on down below is it so you can't just shove him off but those five <laughs> people with him but but you're talking about changing one family, okay, possibly one family compared to five family. So you could say well, yeah, five that's... family, li- five family. Let's say all of those people that are down the track are the breadwinners in that family. They're the people that have the job that make the money, okay? And if those people die, those five families are out. They're done. Like they, they're probably, they're going to either go off and drugs and all kinds of stuff, bad stuff can happen. But the consequences could only be one one person dies, and you only have to deal with with one family being at uh, you know at uh, a problem. What a load of bollocks! What do you mean? Yeah. What a load of bollocks! What are you throw, talking about? Yeah, you could throw this round, right? <clears throat> the one bloke is the charity worker on the bridge. I'm not saying but, he's a charity worker. Uh, 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 okay, all right, all right, all right. Charity worker on the bridge, but on the track is the day out from prison. Five rapists, and you've just killed the fucking good guy. Save the rapists. Don't save the rapists. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even going that far, Wayne. I'm just going to the logical next step. I'm not going to any of them are pedophiles or rapists or anything like that. I'm just going to the logical next step. Everyone has a family. Everyone has somebody to rely on. So, if Wayne's one of those people down the track, Claire, are you going to push? Are you willing to push the guy? To save Ooh, your terrible. family? Like no, I still wait. Even what? if it's my family. <laughs> you would what? still let him. Do, you would still let Wayne die. I don't. Oh, be- I don't believe you. you. I fucking bitch. I, I can't kill someone else to save Wayne. What? I can't do it. Yes, you can. No. I'd push Chris off a bridge for you. You <laughs> bitch. <laughs> hey, fucker! You will not. <laughs> So, yeah, but then it's like Wayne said, if I pushed if I pushed a man off the bridge to save Wayne and his family, then there's no point because I'd be in jail for the rest of my life. So I and would see him die. So I wouldn't see him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. You never know. You never. You could just lie and just be like, he tripped. Oh yeah. No one knows. They're looking at the. They're looking at the trolley. No one knows. He tripped. I kill myself to save Wayne. Yeah. Oh, so you so would jump. Else. So you're saying you would jump from the bridge and stop the trolley? 
I would jump from the bridge if it meant saving Wayne, yeah. So if it meant sa- well, would you save the five people if they weren't Wayne? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow that's some narcissistic shit right there okay so let's, let's go over this real quick which do you choose statistically more people think that it's wrong to push the man off the bridge to save the five others which is what claire and wayne pick on one level this makes sense we shudder at the thought of a friend or a partner doing a cost-benefit analysis of whether you should be sacrificed for the greater good So why do more people prefer this rule based on approach of morality? Some scholars have argued that uh, deontological institutes arise from irrational, emotional responses. But we thought there might be another exclamation, namely the power of popularity. We propose that if people who stick to moral rules are considered to be better social partners and that they may explain why people take a deontological view. Over the course of human evolution, this could favor one type of moral thinking over among uh, another among the entire population. So rather than reflecting irrational or emotional thinking, making moral judgments based on rules could be adapt feature of our minds. So what they're saying is that if they if if society was more like, OK, five, five people are better than one, you you push the five you push the one person to save the five people they're saying our society could evolve based on that and that literally the rule would be you sacrifice one to save the many that's what they're saying that's what they're saying it sounds good but it all depends on who the five are and everything you can't you might be saving five assholes might be saving you're right you might be saving five assholes uh i mean they they go into a little bit more detail about it but it's you know it's a little confusing but um i mean my my biggest thing is is i would push the person if it meant i would (laughs) fuck you i would always have to go the other way (laughs) no i would i've always said that i've i've heard i've heard about this I, i have never seen this in an article and um taken down to this level but i have heard this in a debate argument form because you know how much i love to listen to debates all the time i've heard this in a debate forum of whether it's moral to push the person off the bridge or not and i think it is moral to push the person off the bridge however i would i would rather sacrifice myself to save the five people than push the person off the bridge. Oh, Claire spoiled you then. No, you I would have a big reveal, didn't you? I would yeah, yeah. I would rather but it's not just to save Wayne or to save M or to save whoever, it's to save the five people. I you would knock yourself off a bridge to save five random people. Correct, yes. Even if they were on prison leave and were rapists. Well no, if they were in like prison jumpsuits, no, I wouldn't save them. <laughs> <laughs> no. What about illegal in- Immigrants. Oh, Claire, you're just racist. <laughs> you racist fuck. You racist don't fuck. Don't get a fucking start because once you start, oh, you don't stop. Really, Claire? <laughs> why don't you hate? Why do you hate Ill- illegal immigrants, Claire? Nearly as bad as the time that uh, Chris went. Huh? I don't like the Asian they're, ille- they're being illegal. So? Basically. What about them being illegal? Well, they take all our jobs and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Claire, no illegal immigrants are taking your jobs. <laughs> it's just not happening. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad her true wow. colors have come out. That is, the, that is the, wow. Thank you. Thank you, Donald Trump. I appreciate you for being on the show today. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, do you want to build a wall too, Claire? <laughs> no. You sure? She don't like Scottish people either. You don't like Scott? Oh, yeah. Wait, you don't like Scottish people either? No, she says they sound annoying. They freak me out. Why? I don't know. I just do. What do you mean you don't know? You know. Why? I, well, I don't know. They just freak me out, you know. Scottish people freak you out. And they've got quite a bad temper. Scottish <laughs> Scottish women I find very attractive. <laughs> Scottish and Irish women. Ugh. Give me a last kick. They're, they're quite fiery. Oh, they are. In the pants, too. Yes. <laughs> In the pants. The pantaloons. Why don't you dye your hair red, Claire? Wayne would like that. Red? Why? Yeah, you'd be like Becky Lynch. Oh, right. <laughs> or black. I like black hair. Hey, Claire, what do you do with all your lesbian friends when you go out? Yeah, what do you do? We dance, we drink, and we dance. <laughs> you don't look. You don't like the minge? Oh, my God, say no. Yeah. Oh, even a little bit. Yeah. No. Because all your lesbian friends come out of the woodwork the other day on Facebook when you put a sex post up. Oh. 
Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you I were in the fucking conversation, Chris. You should remember. I was? <laughs> <laughs> when was I in the conversation? Was that the... the was dirty that... Mind one. Oh, yeah. that was a Dirty Mind one. You start going about fucking roadworks, whatever that means. What does roadworks mean, Claire? Oh, that's because... Um... No, I said to my friend at work, oh, you know, we didn't get as much. That's the main one, isn't it? The main liquor. No, we couldn't get, you know, we didn't get to sleep for quite a while because of the, sorry, because of the roadworks. Yeah. And she was like, oh, yeah, roadworks, you know, wink, wink sort of thing. The fuck does that, what does that mean? Well, it means she thought we all just couldn't get to sleep because we're having sex or not. Oh, road, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. But she's, but she's a lesbian. She's not a lesbian, she's married. Oh, (laughs) Yeah, but we- so are you, but I don't stop you. I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> God's sake. It's a good thing you don't listen to the show, Claire. It's a good thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a very good thing. <laughs> All right. Say goodbye, Claire. Right, bye. <laughs> Wayne, say goodbye. Bye, Wayne. <laughs> goodbye. That was Claire. That was Wayne. This is Chris. Saying, wish you guys a happy weekend. I'm fishing somewhere, hopefully, and enjoying. Wayne is... Maybe getting a blindfolded blowjob. That'd be fantastic. I went home with Brian. Guess guess not. (laughs) Visit us at facebook.com slash cerebral satire. The email is cerebralsatire at gmail.com. And I expect an email from you. Uh, Twitter is cerebral satire. On Twitter, use hashtag csatire to get us to notice whatever you're talking about. And that is it for this week, right, Wayne? I think that is. Yeah, I think that's about it, buddy, right? I think we're pretty much done. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. If you thought things had changed, friends, you better think again. Put the pot in the fewest of words. Cunts are still running the world. I still run in the world Now the working classes are obsolete They are surplus to society's needs Hey Wayne What? You think you're getting a blowjob? No, like I said, I'm not gonna hold my breath She's stubborn as fuck. <laughs> I think if you blindfold her and buy her a whip like she wanted to and beat her, beat the fuck out of her, she'd go you a blowjob. That just sounds like rape, though. Beat the shit out of someone and then get a blowjob. You no, know, M loves to get her ass beat, dude. She fucking loves it. It makes her fucking wet. I haven't even done it yet. It makes her wet. I got what? a fucking How hard... Dude, I have a... Because I threaten her with it and she fucking... Giggles and loves the fact that I, that's why I haven't done it yet. Because it's not punishment to her. It's fucking. She moistens up with the thought of you. Just yes! Got it. Yes! She moistens up with the thought of me spanking her and beating her with a whip. Yes. <laughs> it's not even a whip, it's a stick. Don't you fucking get It's it. a stick with leather <laughs> on it. She fucking picked it out herself. I was like, holy fuck, are you sure you want me to beat you with this thing? She's like, fuck yes, I'll push you to beat me with this thing. <laughs> I haven't even done it yet because I know she enjoys it too much. The punishment is for <laughs> his, is her not getting beat. That's the punishment. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait till I beat her ass, beat her on the back of the feet. She's going to fucking cry. Oh, feet beat. Oh, she's going to cry. Oh. Anyway, you two go enjoy your kinky sex. You two crazy kids. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Perfectly natural Do you think That I'm some kind of dumbass